Hi, I'm Susie Sa, and this is The Rundown. LA City Council has extended the COVID-19 state of emergency until the end of the month. And that means tenants are protected under the local moratorium until at least a year after it expires. It's estimated that hundreds of thousands of local tenants are behind on rent. Congress has approved a temporary government funding measure to avoid a shutdown. The continuing resolution will keep the federal government funded through December 3rd. It also provides disaster relief for recent wildfires and hurricanes and funding for Afghan refugee resettlement. An A-list squad of performers for the 2022 Super Bowl. Mary J. Blige, Snoop Dogg, Eminem, and Dr. Dre will take the stage at the halftime show. The big game will be at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood February 13th. And now here's meteorologist Alex Biston with a look at your forecast. Happy Thursday, everybody. We are tracking our first Santa Ana wind event of the season. So we're talking about elevated fire weather conditions at least through today. That's going to continue through this weekend as dry conditions. Warm numbers will be in the forecast. And here's your seven day forecast for the beaches, the basin and the valleys. We have 80s this afternoon along the coast, lower 90s in LA and Orange County Metro. So temperatures well above average. Those warmer numbers stick around through the weekend. Then we'll finally start to feel some changes as we head into next week as temperatures is dropping dramatically by next Tuesday and Wednesday, especially for our inland spots will be down to the into the 80s for the Inland Empire, as well as the high desert and 60s up in the mountains. Remember, we're always streaming on CBS in Los Angeles, and you can watch anytime on our free CBS LA app and on CBSLA.com. I'm Susie Sah.